for all of us. Put your hands on it. Come on, clap with me. There's a new place here. There's a new place. That's tailor made for you. It's tailor made for you. Where God, where God can expand you. It's where He's making room. It's where He's making prosperity and blessings. Prosperity and blessings. Are there too? Are there too? For you. Praise God. Good evening, everyone. It is time again for prayers. I'd like you to invite everyone in your neighborhood, let them come so that we can stand together in prayers. We are not praying to fulfill our righteousness, we are praying because we know that prayer has power. We are praying because we have understanding that the God we serve is a God that hears prayer. The Bible tells us in the book of Psalm 65, and I'm going to read it in verse 2. It says, O thou that hearest prayers, unto thee shall all flesh come. God hears prayers, and that is why we have come to him. We know that when we pray according to his will, he hears us. And if he hears us, then we know that we have the petition that we have asked of him. Hallelujah. I want you to believe every prayer we pray today. God has not changed. He says, ask and it shall be given you. As we pray today, I encourage you to pray in faith. Believing that every petition we bring before God will receive a speedy manifestation in the name of Jesus Christ. Now I'd like us to start by reading the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 from verse 14 to 15. Verse 14 says, Thou shalt be blessed above all people. This is God's word speaking to his covenant people. He said, Thou shalt be blessed above all people. That's our, that's, that, that's our heritage in Christ. He said, There shall not be male or female barren among you or among your cattle. We will start with this prayer today. First, I'd like you to thank God for the gift of life. Thank God who kept you alive. It is not of him that will it, nor of him that run it, but it's of God that showeth mercy. The Bible tells us that except the Lord watches over the city, the watchman wicked but in vain. So you are alive today because God kept you. And so join me wherever you are, lift up your voices to God and say, Lord, thank you for the gift of life. The Bible declared that a living dog is better than a dead lion. Christ in you is the hope of glory. There is glory ahead of you. Thank God for what is ahead. The psalmist says, I shall bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Lord, we thank you for being there for us at all times. For your goodness, for your faithfulness, we thank you. You are the reason why we are standing. You are the reason why we have not been destroyed. We thank you, Lord, for causing our soul to escape like a bird out of the snare of the fowler. Thank you, O oh God, for frustrating the devices of the wicked against us. We bless your name for good health. We bless you for provision. You are our Jehovah Jireh. You are our shepherd. Therefore, we do not lack. We 
are looking unto you our faces are radiant and we are not ashamed thank you abba father thank you abba father thank you for our salvation thank you for making us righteous in christ thank you for all you are doing in us with us and for us we truly appreciate you lord we appreciate you we can never thank you enough thank you oh god in the name of Jesus Christ, we have given thanks. I'd like us to begin to declare and speak over our life. There is power in your mouth. Declare that you are blessed. You are blessed above all people. Remember what the Bible says, Ephesians 1 3 says, Blessed be the Lord, the God of our, of our, the, the, for, blessed be the God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. In another place in Galatians 3 13 says, God has redeemed us from the curse of the law. He said, Christ was made a curse for us so that the blessing of Abraham might come upon all the Gentiles. We are already the blesser. Declare that you have been blessed with an irreversible blessing. Declare that the blessing that you have been blessed with will speak for you in every area of your life. Father, we thank you. Thank you for your blessing upon our life. In Christ, we are carriers of blessing. In Christ, we are not ordinary. We are special. We have been blessed above all people. We have been blessed with all spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And we declare today that we are blessed people. In our finances, we are blessed. In our careers, we are blessed. In our businesses, we are blessed. We declare that we are blessed. In our homes, we are blessed. We are blessed going out. We are blessed coming in. We shall be above only and not beneath. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are blessed. We are blessed. We are blessed. We are blessed. We are too blessed to be cursed. We are too blessed to be stranded. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are too blessed to fail. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody speak it over your life that you are blessed. You are already blessed. You are already blessed. The blessing will speak in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. The blessing will affect every area of your life in the name of Jesus Christ. The blessing will take you from glory to glory and from strength to strength in the name of Jesus Christ. The blessing will settle you. The blessing will establish you. The blessing will cause you to prosper. The blessing will make your life colorful in the name of Jesus Christ. Because of the blessing you carry, you will not be stranded. Because of the blessing you carry, you will not die before your time. The blessing will keep you. The blessing will preserve you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Now look at the second part of that verse of the scripture. It says, There shall not be male or female barren among you or among your cattle. Now the word barren there is not just speaking about the inability to produce offsprings. You can be barren in business. You can be barren in your career. In other words, you are unproductive. You are not fruitful. But the word of God says that as a covenant child, none will barren. In your academics, you will not be barren. And I like to just speak it over your life. How it will happen is not your business. Declare, I am not barren. Declare, I'm productive. I'm fruitful. Whatever I touch will prosper. That is my heritage in Christ. That is your heritage in Christ. Rakapalebo Subrahida Banda. Father, we stand in agreement with your word. And we declare that we are not barren. We are not barren. We are fruitful. We are productive in the name of Jesus Christ. Lekema lebra kolebanda saka lebo sikalabanda. Yekeribra hulemanda yakalabo sibre hilamanda. We are not barren in the name of Jesus Christ. We are productive in every area of our life. We are fruitful in every area of our life. Your word has declared that the righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like the cedar of Lebanon. We we'll speak it over our life. We we'll declare that we are, we are flourishing. We are flourishing. In every area of our life, we shall flourish. In every area of our life, we shall grow. There shall be no stagnation in the name of Jesus Christ. Stagnation is alien to us. Failure is alien to us. Mayaka pale brehile manda yaka talaba. Ile kerebo sombrahinda yapa lebro kura manda. 
le kemande se kuraba ya tala ba celebra hirabanda yele bro kuramanda ya la baramanda ya kalibra hilamanda le bro kulemanda ya kata we are fruitful in the name of jesus in the marketplace we are fruitful ye kapoli bahanda in our career we are fruitful it does not matter what is released against us from the pit of hell it will not prosper we are fruitful in the mighty name of jesus christ somebody wherever you are shout amen, amen. now let's read verse 15 of the same Deuteronomy chapter 7 now watch this he says and the lord will take away from thee all sickness all he didn't say a few he didn't mention any he just said all if it is sickness god says i will take it away and he says i will put none of the evil diseases of egypt which thou knowest upon thee but will lay them upon all them that hate thee this is the word of jehovah and ladies and gentlemen this promise was fulfilled in christ and i'm going to read that to us very quickly he says i will take away from thee all sickness it is already fulfilled in christ and that is the report we must believe look at isaiah 53 from verse 4 it says surely he had borne our sorrows he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows yet we did esteem him stricken smitten of god and afflicted verse 5 but he was wounded for our transgression he was bruised for our iniquity the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed surely he had borne our grief the word grief there means pain it means sickness it means disease the word born is an old english that means to carry he had carried our pain our diseases in his body and whatever jesus took away on the cross the devil has no right to bring it upon you hallelujah and so i want you to declare and begin to thank god this is a, actually a prayer of thanksgiving thank god that you have been redeemed from sickness from disease you have been redeemed therefore the virus that is plaguing the world right now has no place in your life it will not come near you in the name of jesus christ declare it and thank god for it father we thank you because christ has redeemed us from every sickness christ has redeemed us from all sickness from all disease we have been redeemed we were redeemed by the precious blood of the lamb of god jesus christ we have been redeemed from sickness we declare therefore that sickness has no place in our lives disease has no place in our job body coronavirus has no place in our lives we say no to it we choose to believe the report of god mayaka pale brekura bashalama ndeketi labrahanda we declare that over sickness over disease we already have the victory jesus purchased our victory on the cross yakapa lebre hula manda yakalama so I announce to someone here today coronavirus will not come near you the blood will secure you the precious blood of the lamb of god jesus christ that was shed on the cross of calvary that blood will secure you that blood will keep you that blood will preserve you sickness will not kill you sickness will not call, cost your life short up in the name of jesus christ up mayaka polibre hile manda yakada baba we declare that from the crown of our head down to the sole of our feet that we are healed up we are perfectly healed up in the name of jesus christ up we are walking in divine health hallelujah we are walking in divine health hallelujah ya pala breke riba handa la bayanda somebody begin to bless god for victory over sickness up thank him for victory he has done it on the cross before jesus gave up the ghost he said it is finished what he was saying is a listen your redemption is complete your redemption is total you have passed from death into life ya kapa lebre hile manda ya balaba sickness has no power over you ye praka lebre hula manda ya galabada no evil shall befall you no plague shall come near your dwelling in the name of jesus christ ra pala bro kura manda we are healed we are healed by the stripe of jesus we are healed we are healed we are walking in perfect health we are walking in perfect health in the name of jesus christ may i not to so lobra handa ya raba ya la mande bro kule manda ya kala manda yele bra kori manda sa kelebro hule manda ya talaba nde 
il est caraba sende libra colemanda ya la banda yande kende lebro korobo sande le gerebo sondo yanda kende lebro colemanda ya kelebo sende le gerebo shanda il est gerebo sombra colemanda kande le gerebo sande le gerebo sanda il a kaba libra coromanda kanda la bo sanda i declare that sickness has no place in my body ya pra colemanda kande le gerebo shanda la banda I'm enjoying perfect health in Christ. I'm enjoying perfect health in Christ. I have victory over sickness. I have victory over coronavirus. Ya kala broko liba hala hele bosa kala manda. My case is different. Ya loba hande liga rabanda. Ya kapoli brahila manda. My body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. Sickness will not dwell in my body in the name of Jesus Christ. Ya kapali broke ribo hala manda sakaya. Ya kara mando kori brahile man yata. Ema sako ribra handa in Jesus name we are prayed in Jesus mighty name we are prayed now let's look at Psalm 37 from verse 18 he says the Lord knoweth the days of the upright he knows he knows even the days that we are in hallelujah that is a source of comfort to us that the Lord knows. He knows the days we are in. He knows the season we are in. And he says, and their inheritance shall be forever. In other words, whatever, what, no matter what happens, your heritage is secured in Christ. Your heritage is secure forever. No one can tamper with it. And then verse 19 is where we are going to take to prayer from. He says, they shall not be ashamed. Somebody, I want you to speak that over your life. This is God speaking. To, he said, listen, I know your days. I know what you are going through right now. Big Daddy said to us on Sunday, he said it is a walk through. I know what you are walking through. But he said to you, you will not be ashamed in the evil time. You will not be ashamed. Yes, you are walking through the valley of the shadow of death. But God has given us a word of assurance that you will not be ashamed. You will not be ashamed. Make that your prayer tonight. Uh, that in the name of Jesus you will not be ashamed. Uh, even at such a time as this. Uh, you will not be ashamed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, Father we thank you. Your servant has spoken to us on Sunday. That it is a walk through. 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 There is a light at the end of the channel. And you have given us your word today that we will not see shame. And so we thank you for this word. We take we we we, we hold on to it by faith. I would declare it, we declare it, that we will not be put to shame. At this time, at this season, we will not be put to shame. I shall not be ashamed in this evil time, in this evil time, in this season of difficulty. I will not be ashamed. You will not be ashamed. You will not be embarrassed. You will not be ridiculed. For it is written, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. We will not fear evil because Jesus is with us. We will not be afraid because our Savior is right there with us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have triumphed. We have triumphed. We have triumphed over shame, over disgrace, over ridicule. We have triumphed. Father, we thank you for victory. We well, thank you for victory. We already have the victory. Whosoever is born of God overcome the world. We have the victory in the name of Jesus Christ. We have the victory in the name of Jesus Christ. We have the victory. And no power can tamper with it. The devil can do nothing about the victory that you have in Christ. He can't stop it. He can't overrule it. If God be for you, no one can be against you. Hallelujah. We have an assurance. So fret not. Don't stress. Don't be afraid. God is sending a word to you that in this evil time you will not be ashamed you and your household will not be ashamed he knows what you are going through he knows what you are dealing with and he is sending his word to you receive it by faith 
believe this report uh, above anything you see in the newspaper believe it above what you see what you see what you see in the news on television believe this word uh, above what you see on the social media god is saying to you you will not be ashamed in the name of jesus christ uh, now look at the part two of it first it says they shall not be ashamed in the evil time and then he says in the days of famine they shall be satisfied listen we don't live in denial faith does not deny the existence of a problem but faith simply refuses to allow the problem to determine its term of existence we know that there will be consequences when this season is over but God is saying to you you will be satisfied Amen. you will be satisfied Amen. the word satisfied means you will have plenty Amen. it means you will have more than enough so I want, to, I want to appeal to you I don't know who is listening to me don't expect a loss don't expect crisis in your life expect that even in the midst of whatever will happen whatever will be the impact of this season in the days to come in the midst of it god will satisfy you Amen. this is not man's word this is god speaking he says even in the days of famine you will be satisfied Amen. are you afraid of how this season will impact you economically there's a word from for you from god he says you will be satisfied Amen. you will be satisfied I want this to be your confession in the days to come. From now on, begin to declare that no matter what happens, no matter the shape the economy of the world takes, in the days to come, you shall be satisfied. Your portion no one will take in the name of Jesus Christ. We are not declaring what man can do. We are declaring what God can do. I want you to believe it and speak it over your life. There is power in what you say. Declare that you will be satisfied. It doesn't matter what happens, you will be satisfied satisfied whether there is recession or no recession that's not your business God says you will be satisfied you will be satisfied you will be satisfied you will be satisfied in the name of Jesus Christ now and beyond you shall be satisfied you will take your portion in the line things will work in your favor in the name of Jesus Christ uh, God will compass you with favor God will compass you with favor in the name of Jesus Christ uh, I pray for somebody today that the type of favor you have never seen before get ready to experience it uh, get ready to enjoy it uh, in the name of Jesus Christ uh, Oh, I shall be satisfied. In season and out of season, I shall be satisfied. I shall not lack. Because the Lord is my shepherd. My needs are met and my bills are paid. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that I will not lack any good thing. I will not lack any good thing. Yelebo kapa lebra hilemanda. I shall not lack any good thing in the name of Jesus Christ. Yalabo kapra hilemanda. Yakapale bo sotaya banda. Yalabo so brahilemanda. Yadakele brahida banda. Yalamondo brahida. Yelebonda brakale deso luba handa yakale. Yelebra kora mande kende lebra hulemanda yakate. Yelemondo kapo lebra hilemanda. Kase lebra hilemanda. Yelebo brahilemanda yagalamanda. Yelemondo brakile mando kaprahi le manda ya la banda yande kelebro kula manda ya kata lebre hile manda in Jesus name we are prayed in Jesus name we are prayed amen and amen now I want to read a few scriptures we're going to pray about mercy we're going to pray for mercy we're going to pray for mercy for every household we're going to pray for mercy for you as an individual and we're going to pray that mercy will speak over the nations of the world in the name of Jesus Christ. You see, there are a few things I want you to know about mercy. The first and the greatest truth about God is the fact that God is merciful. 
When you read the book of Exodus chapter 34, verse 6, when God made his glory to pass before Moses, hear what he says, the very first thing that God said, and the Lord passed by before him, Exodus 34, verse 6, and proclaim the Lord, the Lord God, merciful and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in goodness and truth. The Lord, merciful and gracious. So the leading revelation of the glory of God is mercy. It's mercy. When you read Micah chapter 7, verse 18, it says, God delight in mercy. He takes delight in mercy. The Bible says, His compassion fail not. They are new every morning. God can't stop showing mercy. Mercy is a decider of destiny. Without mercy, you cannot fulfill destiny. You know the story of David? It was mercy that, that chose David above his brothers. When mercy begins to walk in your life, the impossibility becomes possible. When mercy begins to speak over your life, dead situations will come alive. When mercy begins to speak, listen, there is nothing that will not happen in your, in your life. I want you to pray just one prayer for yourself this evening. Listen, the Bible says in Romans 9, 16, it says, It is not of him that will it, nor of him that run it, but it is of God that showeth mercy. The best don't always get the best. Mercy decide. I want you to pray that in every situation of your life, now and beyond, let the mercy of God prevail. Let the mercy of God prevail. In every area of your life, now and beyond, let the mercy of God prevail. Let mercy be the decider of your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we thank you for mercy. Lord, we, we acknowledge that you are a God of mercy. You are a God of mercy. You are a God of mercy. You said we should come before the throne of grace with confidence that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of trouble. When we come before you, we obtain mercy. And so Lord, we ask today that in every situation of our lives, let mercy prevail. Let the mercy prevail. Let mercy prevail over the nations of the world. La Capra Libre Hilemanda concerning, oh God, the current siege, Yakad Ibrahim that the nations of the world are facing. We ask, oh God, that your mercy will prevail. In Nigeria, let your mercy prevail. In the United States of America, let your mercy prevail. In South Africa, in UK, in Turkey, Mayaka, in Italy, in Spain, in France, in Germany, in South Korea, in China, in Japan. Lord, we lift up our voices to you today, asking, oh God, that your mercy will prevail. Let your mercy prevail. Let your mercy prevail. Mercy overrules judgment. Lord, let your mercy prevail. Let your mercy prevail. Let 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 mercy prevail. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yalaba celebra hula manda yaraba. Yelemunda brahi de bada. Yelegerebo sambrahi la manda. La halebo sanda. Let mercy prevail, O oh God. Let mercy prevail. Over Nigeria, let mercy prevail. Over the nations of the world, let mercy prevail. Ya kapa leke mosondo libra handa ya garabada. Yele brahu le manda kandele gerebo sombrahi le manda. Yanda la gabo sombra kelebo sondo brahi le manda. Yanda ya bala kan shandele gerebo sanda ya bala. Yanda brahi le manda kandele gerebo sanda. Father, thank you for being merciful unto us. Thank you for being merciful unto us. Mercy will speak for us. Mercy will speak for us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lebro kapala neko sende ligayada. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen and amen. Next, I'd like us to read the book of Psalms. Chapter 32, verse number 7. Psalms chapter 32 verse number 7. Hear what it says. That thou art my hiding place. 
If I were to read it in modern English, it would say, You are my hiding place. So we are saying that God is our hiding place. So if you are in Christ, your hiding place is God, so you have no reason to be afraid. Now hear what it says. It says, Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. The word trouble there means adversity. It means affliction. It means anything that can make your life uncomfortable. He says he will preserve you from trouble. I'd like you to lift up your hands and thank God for preserving you from trouble. That is why you are standing. Thank God and declare it, declare it, declare it that the Lord will preserve you from trouble. Is your hiding place. In Christ, you are entitled to preservation. In Christ, you are entitled to protection. It's part of your covenant right as a citizen of the kingdom of God. It's part of your covenant right. That is your privilege as a citizen of the kingdom of God. Declare that you are preserved. Father, we thank you. We thank you for divine preservation. We thank you for divine preservation. Thank you for preserving us from every affliction. Thank you for preserving us from every plague. Thank you for preserving us from every trouble. Thank you for preserving us from every affliction. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is written, Thou shalt preserve us from trouble. Thank you, O God, for preserving us from trouble. Thank you, O God, for preserving us from every affliction. Thank you for preserving our going out and our coming in. Thank you for preserving us from all evil. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we know that your word has no margin for failure. Yakapra you are a covenant keeper. You keep promise. You said that your covenant you will not break. Neither will you. The, the word that has come out of your mouth be altered. Thank you, Father, because nothing can change your word. We thank you for preservation. We thank you for preserving us from the virus that is ravaging the world. Thank you for preserving us. Thank you for preserving our children. Thank you for preserving every family that is under the sound of my voice. Thank you for preserving us. In Jesus' name we are free. Amen and amen. Now look at the second part of that verse of the scriptures. Now read it from the beginning one more time. Say, Thou art my hiding place, thou shalt preserve me from trouble, and thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. That is God's word. He will compass you about with songs of deliverance. In other words, whithersoever you turn, your testimony will be testimony of uncommon deliverance. Anywhere you find yourself, the Lord will compass you around with a song of deliverance. I want you to make that your prayer. That the Lord will confess you about with songs of deliverance. What that means is that it doesn't matter what the enemy throws at you. It will not stand. Because God will compass you about with songs of deliverance. It doesn't matter what they are speaking against you. In the realm of darkness. God says he will compass you around with songs of deliverance. Every altar of blood that is speaking against your death against your destiny with the intent to hinder you to stop you god is saying he will compass you about with songs of deliverance our father we thank you for compassing us about with songs of deliverance and so we know we know we know we know that we know that we know that our victory is a, a, a certain yeah our victory is sure our victory is certain we will not go under we cannot be defeated because you compass us with song of deliverance we compass us with song of deliverance in the name of Jesus. Raka pasande ika yala mande keti lebra kaya lebro kura banda iyelegere bo sombra kale bo shigaya banda yala mande kende lebro kule manda yaka bande yala mande kende lebro kura manda sakale bahanda. The Lord will compass us about with song of deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Yalaba celebra corobanda yaka lebro hula manda. 
Yandele broko la manda ya la mande kete libra hida banda Yele mondo bra hile manda saka la mande ke libra hula manda Ya la mando bra kele mondo bra kele mondo shibra hile manda In Jesus name we have prayed Hallelujah Now let's read Genesis chapter 30 Genesis 30 verse 22 it says, and God remembered Rachel. God has remembered you. I don't know who you are, but receive it as a word from God. God has remembered you. And God remembered Rachel. And God hearkened unto her and opened her womb. And she conceived and bare a son. And said, God had taken away my reproach. This is a time for somebody's reproach to be taken away. This is a time for somebody's reproach to be taken away. It's a time for that thing that has, that has made you to be sleepless. That thing that has made you to cry, to wet your bed. That thing that has almost, or almost made you to have high blood pressure. It is time for it to be taken away. I want you to thank God for remembering you. I'm not asking you to say, ask God to remember you. Just thank Him for remembering you. Even in this season of lockdown, God has remembered you and declared that every reproach in your life shall be taken away. Every reproach shall be taken away. Father, we we'll thank you for divine remembrance. Lord, I declare that it's my season of remembrance. It is my season of remembrance. It is my season of remembrance. When men are saying there's a casting down, we say there's a lifting. It is our season of remembrance. Hallelujah. This season will work in my favor. I declare that every reproach in my life is taken away. Every reproach in my life is taken away. Ye kapra le musundo kule brahanda. Ye kele brahi le manda. Ya kata le brahi le manda. Yanda raba kamba le mande kende le brahu ye kanda ya balakanda. Yanda rakapa le gerebo sombra kande le gerebo sombra kanda. Yala garaba sande le gerebo sondo kale brahi shanda. Ika la basande le kata ya barabanda. It is my season of remembrance in the name of Jesus. It is my season of remembrance in the name of Jesus. It is written, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion, for it is time, the time to favor our year, the third time has come. I declare that the time to favor me has come. The time to favor me has come in the name of Jesus. This is my set time to go to the next level. This is my set time, my set time, my set time for breakthrough. Yakapa libre kule manda yaba. It may not look like it, but I declare it. I declare it with declaration. It's our season of remembrance. It's our season of breakthrough. We are going to the next level. God is making a way for us where there is no way. In the name of Jesus, our days of stranded are over. In the name of Jesus Christ, uh, what has not been working will begin to work. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, every door that has been shut against us shall be opened. Yakapa uh, libre the same God uh, that opened the womb of Rachel, uh, he will open doors for us. Yakala brake leba sanda ligadaba sanda would declare that there shall be testimonies of open door in our lives. Um, testimony of open doors. Yakata libra handa. Whatever doors uh, that has been shut before us, whatever doors that have been shut before us, will declare that they are open supernaturally. They are open supernaturally. God is divinely opening doors for us. Ye kapra lebo sumbra hile manda. Yata kalababa yabala mande kende libra hile manda. Yanda labraba yande legere bo sundu libra hile manda. Yanda kende libra hule manda kande legere bo shanda. Yalla baba ya bala mando kumbra hili manda sakata. In Jesus name we are prayed. In Jesus name we are prayed. Now the Bible tells us that God opened her womb. Now the womb is a place of bringing forth. You conceive and you bring forth. And so when we're talking about womb here, we are not necessarily talking about the physical womb of a female. But we're going to pray this way. That your dreams will come to pass. Everything you've conceived in you. Whatever you are pregnant of. Supernaturally you will deliver it. You will bet that dream. You will bet that vision. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your womb will not be barren. You will bring forth. You will bring forth. 
is your season to bring forth. It may look as if you are locked down, but your womb can never be locked. It's time for your dream to speak. It's time for your dream to manifest. God has waited for such a time like this for that dream to speak. Open your mouth and begin to declare that your womb is open. Supernaturally, your womb is open. Declare that you will bring forth. You will bet your dream. You will bet that miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. That miracle you have been waiting upon for so many years uh, this is the betting season that dream you have been waiting upon that dream that you have conceived uh, this is the time to bet that dream uh, this is the time this is the time this is the time god has remembered you this is the time uh, every obstacle is lifted every barrier is lifted uh, you are bringing forth you are bringing forth your dreams will manifest your vision will manifest i see god bringing to you a vision helper i see god bringing to you men and women who will help you to manifest that dream men and women that will help you to bring your dream to reality they are coming to you they will locate you in the name of jesus christ they will locate you in the name of Jesus Christ. Yakapa lebre hile manda yakapa daba. Yakambo libra handa. Begin to pray for divine helper. Begin to pray for destiny helpers. Le kubra handa la baba. Begin to pray for men like Joseph built for men that carry the, 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 the lame man to Jesus. Pray that God will bring you in contact with such individuals who will push you to your next level. Because it is time for your dream to manifest. It is time for your dream to manifest. Yakapa le dobro kula manda yadabaya. Yelemondo brakande le garabashanda. We declare that no more delay, no more delay, no more delay. That dream will speak. That dream is speaker. I speak to you prophetically that your womb is open. Your womb is open. It's time to bet that dream. Yakapa lebre kile manda yakatele brahanda. Yakapa labra kile bosanda. Yalamanda brahile manda. This is the season to run with that vision. Yalabakala bokolo brahile manda yabale mando. Ikala manda. This is the season. This is the season. This is the season. This is the season. Yakapa lebro hula manda yakadaba. In Jesus name we are prayed. I want us to say one word of prayer for our children. The Bible says in Psalm 112 verse 1. It says praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord. That delighted greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. That's God's word. So your generation shall be blessed. Two things you will declare. Declare that your generation is blessed. Declare that your seed, your children, shall be mighty upon the earth. Because they are the seed of the righteous. This is God's word. God will honor his word in your life. Father, we thank you for our children. They are the seed of the righteous. We declare in agreement with your word that they shall be mighty upon the earth. Our children will not be vagabond. In the name of Jesus Christ, our children will fulfill destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, their life will not be cut short. Their life will not be cut short. We declare that it shall be well with our children. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, there shall be no delay whatsoever in their lives. Their dreams will come to pass. Their desires shall be granted in the name of Jesus Christ. Mayaka pate le kura basandi. Ikala baba ya balamande pre kurubu sanda. Yekele brahanda. Lord, we lift up our children before you. We thank you for your keeping grace. Thank you for keeping them from evil. Thank you, O oh God, for making them ten times more intelligent than their contemporaries. You did it in the days of Daniel, and we trust you, O oh God, to do it for our children. Our children will not be lost in the crowd. In the name of Jesus Christ, our children will stand out. The deposit of God in them will make them to stand out. Their head will not lack oil. 
they shall be anointed with fresh oil their home shall be exalted like that of the unicorn father thank you because you will increase them more and more you will give them rest on all sides they will flourish like the palm tree and they will grow like the cedar of lebanon our children will bring us joy in the name of jesus christ our children will bring honor to our name and to the name of the lord in the name of jesus christ father will lift up our children before you we declare today that no weapon formed against them shall prosper in the name of jesus christ it is written who is he that says a thing and it comes to pass when the almighty god has not commanded it lord will declare that every word spoken every satanic legislation against any of our children will declare them cancelled and nullified in the name of jesus christ only the word of god only the will of god will come to pass in their lives only the word of god will stand in their lives in the name of jesus christ father thank you for blessing them thank you for your hand upon our children thank you for compassing them with your favor as a shield thank you for compassing them with song of deliverance thank you for preserving them from every evil we will now receive evil report concerning our children in the name of jesus christ in jesus name we are prayed in the mighty name of jesus we are prayed now we want to pray for divine direction we want to pray for divine direction Isaiah 48 17 he said thus said the Lord thy Redeemer the only one of Israel I am the Lord thy God which teacheth thee to profit that means God wants us to live profitable lives he says I'm going to teach you how to be profitable in the days to come the Lord will teach you to profit he said I'm the Lord which leadeth thee by the way that thou shouldest go there is a way you should go and there is a way that you should not go in Psalm 32 verse 8 he says I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way thou shalt go in verse 9 he says be ye not as a horse or as a mule which have no understanding the word understanding here could mean sensitivity so don't be without sensitivity if God is going to lead you you are going to be sensitive listen I said to us that we don't deny the existence of certain things because we walk by faith we know that there will be consequences when all these things are over and so you need God to guide you you need God to position you to maximize this season I like you to cry to God today for divine direction cry to God for divine direction remember it was in the season of economic depression or recession that isaac prospered because he could hear god he could be directed by god he was going to relocate but god said to him stay in this place i'm going to bless you i want you to ask for divine direction and i want you to ask that you will be sensitive to what god is saying if there's anything every Christian needs right now is sensitivity to the voice of the Holy Ghost. Sensitivity to what God is saying. There's so much, there's so much, so much fake news over there. So, so much of, of, of wrong things that are being posted. You must be able to ask God, Lord, in the midst of this avalanche of information, what are you saying to me? Open your mouth and ask God that he will give you direction we need direction from God we need direction from God God teaches us to profit God leads us in the way that we should go in the name that is above every other name everlasting King of glory we ask for divine direction in every area of our life we ask you oh God for direction 
we ask you for direction. We acknowledge Jehovah that without you we will miss it. Without you we cannot find our feet. Without you we cannot find our bearing. We thank you for all that you will do for us in the days to come. We thank you for sensitivity to the voice of the Lord. We thank you for wisdom, O oh God, to handle the days ahead. In a kubra kasa lebra hili banda katayabada. Ye legerebo sande lebra hule manda kande legerebo sanda. Ye lekebra kasa liga leba handa kande lega raba sanda. Ye legerebo sombra kile basha te lebra hula manda. Yanda kande legerebo sombra hile mashanda la garabanda. Yanda kande legerebo sombra kile manda kande legerebo shata ya baba. Ye legerebo sombra kende leka sanda la kasele kanda. In Jesus name we are prayed. In Jesus name we are prayed. Now recall that. Our Father in the Lord, Bishop Michael Kwonko has spoken to us by the Spirit that this year there is going to be a shaking that will affect all the nations of the world. But the believers should not be afraid because God already has us covered. And that is why this prayer is very important. The days that the Son of God, Son of God spoke about are here upon us. And so we need God to guide us so that we can maximize this season. So that all that God has ordained for us, we will receive them in the name of Jesus Christ. And I just want you to pray that His grace will be sufficient for you. This year is a year of all grace. When there are no difficulties, you don't need grace. You need grace when things are tough. When Paul was facing a tough time, he went to God in prayer and God simply told him, my grace is sufficient for you. I don't know who is listening to me. God's, God's grace will be sufficient for you. The grace of God will sustain you. The grace of God will uphold you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will walk through and walk through successfully. You will come out better and stronger. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will hear God clearly. You will know exactly what to do. You will not be confused in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not run elder skelter because you will know what to do. God will give you insight. God will give you uncommon wisdom to handle the challenges in the days ahead. In the name of Jesus Christ, grace to maneuver and come through will receive today. Father, we thank you for grace. We thank you for grace. We thank you for grace. You reveal to redeem. You already spoke spoke through your servant that this year will be filled with challenges you already spoke to us through your servant that there will be a shake in this year that will affect all the nations of the world and the season has come upon us we we'll thank you for grace we we'll thank you for grace they will thank you for grace your grace will sustain us your grace will keep us up we are not going under in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for divine direction. We thank you for teaching us the way that we ought to go. We thank you for divine instruction. We receive grace for quick obedience. If there is any time to obey God quickly, it is now. If there is any time for you to know God for yourself personally and be able to hear what he's saying and follow his instruction, it is now. The grace to do that, we'll receive it today. We receive grace. We receive abundance of grace. We receive abundance of grace. The grace of God will set to us. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are sensitive to his voice. We will see what he wants us to see. We will hear what he wants us to hear. We will not be confused. In the name of Jesus Christ. We have prayed. Amen. Finally. I like us to read now we are going to speak as saviors as people who have been anointed by God Jesus spoke to us in the book of Mark 11 I read from verse 22 and I'll give you a quick background to the story prior to this time Jesus had cast a fig tree and so while they were passing by, 24 hours later, Peter noticed that the tree had withered from the root. From the root and he drew the attention of Jesus to it. And Jesus used that opportunity to show us a principle that every believer can apply. He says, and Jesus answered him, said unto them, have faith in God. In other words, have God's kind of faith. 
God is a speaking God and when God speaks God does not doubt his word and so when God when the Bible says have faith in God or have God's kind of faith he is saying you also must learn to speak like God hallelujah he said for verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he saith this is the word of Jesus heaven and earth will pass away but his word will never pass away he watches over this word to perform it I like us to stand wherever we are open your mouth as a child of God Jesus said he that believed on me the work I do shall he do also if Jesus rebuked the storm and the storm obeyed you can rebuke coronavirus and it will obey you open your mouth and rebuke coronavirus declare an end to this virus Yakapa Libra Hilemana globally let's declare an end to this virus in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we take our place as Savior we take our places as sons of God and we announce the end of coronavirus in Nigeria and in the nations of the world we decree an end to this culture we decree an end to this virus by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ we stop this virus we command you proceed no further in the name of Jesus Christ by the authority that is in the name of Jesus Christ we declare an end to coronavirus we declare an end to coronavirus in Nigeria in South Africa in Egypt in Turkey in UK in the United States of America in Brazil in Argentina in, in, in Italy in France in Germany in Spain in South Korea in Singapore in Malaysia in Japan in China we announce the end of coronavirus in the name of Jesus Christ Malakasele kura bashandala banda yelebo kapralemo sende libra kanda la bada we declare in the name of Jesus enough is enough enough is enough proceed no further in your attack proceed no further in your manipulations in the name of Jesus Christ we thank you father we bless your name by faith we call it on in the name of Jesus Christ now I'd like you to stretch your hands towards me as I pray for you Paul prayed for the church in Philippi in the book of Philippians 4 verse 19 he says my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus and I speak these words over your life that you will not lack he is your shepherd you will not lack you will not lack in Psalm 34 verse 10 he said the young lion lack and go hungry but they that seek the Lord will not lack any good thing I speak this word over your life today that you will not lack any good thing. Yeah. Whatever is a need in your life, I declare that supernatural that need is met. Amen. That need is met. Amen. You will not be embarrassed. Amen. You will not be stranded. Amen. Help will locate you. The favor of God will locate you. Amen. Supernaturally, your needs are met. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. the favor of God will continually speak on your behalf. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. I pray for your total healing. Amen. Total healing. Amen. From the crown of your head down to the sole of your feet, receive your healing. Amen. By the stripe of Jesus, you are healed. Amen. You are healed. Amen. You are healed. Amen. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Let every growth in your body melt in the name of Jesus Christ. I cause sickness in your body. I cause sickness in your body. I cause pain in your body. Receive your healing now in the name of Jesus Christ. It is written, Say unto the righteous, it shall be well. I declare it shall be well with you. 
it shall be well with you. The mighty hand of God will keep you. The mighty hand of God will sustain you. You will walk in perpetual victory. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. No evil shall befall you. No plague shall come near your dwelling. The Lord will keep you. The Lord will preserve you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. your lips will testify. Amen. I pray that God will beautify your life. Amen. He will beautify your life. Amen. He will make your life beautiful. Amen. He will establish the work of your hands. Amen. Whatever you touch will prosper. Amen. Everything that is causing you shame is rolled away. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. the yoke of delay is dismantled in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. you will go from glory to glory. You will go from strength to strength in the name of jesus christ you will flourish like the palm tree and you will grow like the cedar of lebanon in the name of jesus christ i pray for you today that the lord will perfect everything that concerns you everything that concerns you the lord will bring perfection to it to your dreams to your aspiration to your business to your career in your academics in your marital life i declare perfection I declare all round wellness in your life. All round wellness. All round wellness. Receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. By faith, we call it on. God bless you. I will hear your testimony. Join me again on Wednesday for another session of prayer. God bless you.